a WhatsApp guys. Yeah, so let's solve this uh this uh, useful uh, tool that uh, called inverting partition matrices. So P is a matrix is obvious side that's composed of some matrices A B C D. Let's say A is a uh, A by D A by A matrices. So you say A A and then this is D D, and uh, B is the, so basically B is like A by D matrices and the C is like D by A matrices, and the both are invertible. And the B R C uh, conformable dimension. Uh, I uh, this is not important. Okay, so X is D minus C A inverse B inverse and D by D matrices P inverse is this. Okay, so our goal is to prove this P inverse is really P. Okay, so uh, okay, so what all I can do is just uh do the simple uh do the simple calculation. Right, we just uh, go to a proof. Uh. Okay, and uh, let's see. Let's hopefully we can fill this proof in this uh in this very very small like in this page. Okay, so the A B C D. And by the way, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's compute. Let's call this is let's call this is uh x one x two x three x four. So our goal is to show x i zero that i from one to three four. Okay, so that x one will be a a inverse plus a inverse b x c a inverse plus b minus x c a inverse. So obviously that this identity this is the same. Right? So this is uh I'm sorry I'm stupid what I'm saying. So uh, we need to show that x one and x four is identity, and x two and x three are zero. Okay, so this is identity, right? Because a identity and this this term as mean as this term. Okay, so we verify x one. Okay, so let's let's uh, see x two. So x two is right. X two is here here. So it's a minus a inverse b x plus b x, which is zero. Okay, so trivial. Uh, let's check for x4. So x4 is this and this, right? So we get c minus c a inverse b x plus dx. Okay, so let's write so this right. We just write minus d minus c a inverse b and x, and then by definition x is here. So this is identity. Okay, so x4 is identity. Now this looks good. Okay, so let's uh, verify the x3. So x3 is here times here, right? So this guy may a little bit trouble uh, complicated. So CA inverse plus CA inverse BX CA inverse minus DX CA inverse. Okay, so now we see that CA inverse, CA inverse, C A inverse. Uh, so what we should do? Uh, there's a C A inverse here. So uh, it seems like that. Uh, we should, we can pull our C A inverse to the right. Okay. So let's try uh. Identity plus B, plus C A inverse B X. Minus D X C A inverse. And uh, okay, so this is C A inverse B X minus D X times this X. So this guy will be minus identity, right? This guy will be minus identity, right? So X three is zero. X three is zero. Okay, finish the proof. See you guys next videos.